everything that she's done for me, I would say that's unconditional love because what a person sees with their eyes, your heart must believe. What one others with their mouth, their actions must prove. And if I could say love, that'll be Drieger Gates. Most of the people that I'm just real, real cool with are the people that I had the biggest arguments with. You know, like the people that weren't afraid to tell me no and the people that weren't afraid to tell me when I was wrong. Because they say, Kevin, talking to you can be intimidating sometimes, but, you know, I don't care. You know, this what, you know, and, and I love them for that. It's gonna sound crazy, but not to you. Right. Anything I want right now, I can just manifest. Manifest it, speak it into existence. It's just gonna come to me. Say, like, look, check it out. Don't let nothing in your past affect you from moving forward. You can't do nothing about that shit anyway. Every time they tear you down, I'm gonna build you back up. Sometimes people think they can be you better than you can be you. And it's, it's true, like, I'm not afraid to be myself, I'm not afraid to be different, I'm not afraid to put my emotions on the table. You know, I'm a man of great morals and I'm a man of great principles, I never read it on nobody. And that's when I could look in the mirror and look at myself and say, you know what, Kevin, I fuck with you. You know, I always stood tall, win, lose, or maybe. My grandfather taught me that, you're not fighting to win, every time you fight, make sure you die. You going in there to die. You going in there to get your point across. Cause your children gotta live up under your name. What kind of name you want for yourself? Some of the most beautiful smiles. I had the greatest hurt. I was dying on the inside. Real talking to pure talk. I was dying on the inside. Socially, no one truly accepted me as an individual. They respected me. Yeah. But no one truly accepted me socially. Okay. Because I'm so withdrawn. I'm aloof. Yeah. I mean, and you know, I don't, you know, I get away from, you know, yeah. I don't like to be around a lot of people. Right. Because, you know, when you're intelligent, excuse me, when you're too intelligent, sometimes you tend to analyze things excessively. Yeah. And I've always been that type of individual, excessively analytical. And because I've been that type of individual, I always look at things like, from eight different sides of the spectrum. Yeah. I try to look at things from all angles. I feel like it's not profitable mm -hmm. being negative. Negativity is a thief that steals happiness. And I'm not saying I'm on a new wave or nothing, but I've been really kind of just really sitting back and being reflective, and I've really been thankful for a lot that's been going on with me. Mm -hmm. I used to play a lot of chess, and I used to be like, I don't like the king. The king puts it on and know how to move. So an older gentleman told me, you know why he moved like that? Cause every move is a calculated step. He took a lot of losses to become who he is. I took a lot of losses. People ask me, Gates, why you fight so good? I took a lot of losses. Teeth knocked out, black eyes, broke nose, all that. I just took a lot of losses, you know, to become this individual that I am. You know what I'm saying? Time after time, I can get to, you gonna learn how to not lose. You get tired of losing, you gonna learn how to win one day. My wife could vouch for this. Every bag I get, mm -hmm. I don't, once I thumb through and make sure the check's straight, I give it all to her. Because anything you give to a woman, they're going to multiply it for you. Buy a house, she's going to make it a home for you. Mm -hmm. Give her some money, man, she's going to disperse it evenly and make you, and keep that great nation. I don't do vaccinations. I'm intelligent. I research vaccinations, and I don't do vaccinations on my children. Absolutely, because the vaccinations is the viruses they're putting in our babies. I don't want to say that because I can't intelligently speak about that, right. but I know that after you get vaccinated, you have to have a detox afterwards. So anything that I put in my body that I have to have a detox for, I don't believe it belongs in my body. Right. So, I'm so, just a big skeptic. I investigate anything that, you know, I'm skeptical right. of everything. So when, ch when your child goes to school with, with vaccinations, so there's certain things she won't be permitted to do because she won't have vaccinations or she won't be able to go to certain schools because of that. Is that true? Right. I don't care. I don't care what school she's not permitted to go to. Mm -hmm. The one that she meant to go to, that's the one that she going to go to because what's meant to be is meant to be. If I don't like you, I'm going to stay away from you. I never get a chance to not like people, though. Because before we meet, if the energy isn't right, before we meet, but when I first look you in your eyes, if the energy isn't right, I'm not going to talk to you. Wow. And if I do talk to you, you know, you might, what up, okay, what's the knowledge? And I'm going to keep it moving. Mm -hmm. I don't accept or tolerate disrespect. That's why I give my respect first.
Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, bro. But when you're disrespecting, man, it's game time. My children are with me at all times, and I have to show them how to deal with altercation. You have friends who caught HIV? Man, want me to tell you something? My daddy died February 25th. My biological father, mm -hmm. he died from AIDS. Really? Yeah, he told, he used to tell me, man, I had more holes than clothes. Hmm. That's what he used to tell me. I had more holes than clothes. I never understood what that meant. You heard? I never understood that. You know, I had more holes than, you know, Macy's got dresses, you know. I never understood <laughs> what that meant back then. Right. I understand now. Yeah. And you say you had more holes than clothes? But look, you know, unfortunately, look what happened. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Ray Nagin, you know, no rubber. You know, I call that Ray Nagin, colloquially speaking, you know, slang terminology. I like to use Ebonics a lot. But Ray Nagin, ridiculous. Oh. Yeah. How long did you know that he, he was HIV positive from the... HIV I met him in like the eighth grade, to be honest. I met my biological father in the eighth grade. Okay. And when we met, there me. I love you. I just can't fuck with you. Yeah. Be like that sometimes.